to make sure everything sounds good. You didn't hear that. This is Revival GT. It has been a long time. I am not dead, only on the inside. So this is how to change your rear diff fluid in your, let's say 2015 and up uh, Mustang GT. I think it's gonna be the same on the EcoBoost as well. But here is what you need. So you're gonna need to get two of these guys. Now the manual claims for 75W85, the 90 is, is, is fine. Um, 85 is kind of hard to find unless you get it like from a Ford dealership or order it online. This stuff came from O'Reilly's or AutoZone or whatever. Uh, so you can pick up a couple of these. You'll only need two. They do have, I think it takes 1.6 quarts is what it is. So you'll have a little bit left over. Um, now the Royal Purple says it has the friction modifier already added, but I did get some of the Motorcraft stuff also because I did see some people saying that they had some rear end chatter uh, if they didn't use this. So we're still gonna put this in. You're gonna need a 3 8 ratchet. You're gonna need a little pump like this, uh, some Teflon tape and a zip tie and probably some gloves. I'm gonna wear these. I don't care. Um, that, that stuff can be kind of nasty. So jack up your car. You wanna make sure that you have it as even and level as possible. Uh, that way your fluid is gonna be correct whenever you go to put it in. It's not gonna be all jacked up. Oh, I'm sorry. And you also need something to drain it into. So don't be a dick. Don't just dump this in your backyard or something. Take it to an actual place like AutoZone or something to uh, recycle it. You're gonna wanna make sure you're supporting all four corners. I always just leave the jack on one side just in case, a little backup. But yeah, don't, don't uh, unalive yourself. Now you may be wondering, hey bro, what do you need a zip tie for to, uh, to do this? The service manual says that when you're filling up the fluid, it needs to be nine millimeters below the fill hole. So I don't know if all zip ties have these, but basically you're gonna want, when you stick it in, or once you put your fluid in, you're gonna kinda stick this in the fill hole and you're gonna want it to sit between like the fourth and fifth lines on here. That's gonna get you as close as possible. More than likely, you can probably just fill it up and uh, let it, you know, weep out of the hole. But if you track your car, uh, if you take really, you know, hard turns and stuff like that, uh, it will spray out of the vent onto your uh, thing back here. And uh, I don't wanna deal with that. I don't really drive this car like that, but if I'm doing it, I wanna make sure I do it right. So now I'm going to stop being embarrassed that my neighbors might see me uh, making a video and I'm going to open the garage. And guys, this is something that's really often neglected on cars, but all the fluids on your car need to be changed at some point. doesn't matter if they say it's lifetime or not or whatever. Um, I've got 54,000 miles on this car. I could probably go further with it, but I like to make sure that my stuff is going to last a long time. That still has the factory oil in it. So whenever I pull this uh, drain plug, it's going to have some metal on it. It's going to have uh, going to be like some metal paste, you know, stuck to it because the, the thing is magnetic. Just make sure when you see that you don't freak out. Just wipe it off and you'll be good. All right, so here's our rear diff. So this is going to be your drain plug. That is going to be your fill hole. Three eighths. God, dude, what the fuck? Nothing's ever fucking simple. There we go. She's broken link. It's pretty thick, so it doesn't just like launch out like oil does. Yeah, there's some, yeah, that's sludge. It's metal. That is metal. We're gonna make sure we get that wiped off before we put that back in. And so I did see, already wiped it off, but I did see a little bit of that metal sludge. Just make sure you get in here. If you're using a paper towel, be careful that that you don't like leave bits left inside of it. But I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit, make sure if there is any metal on the threads or anything, we get that out. All right, so this is what came off of the drain plug. This is metal mixed with oil. I see um, doing uh, 
launches with the trans brake have not been easy on this. All right, to get this back in here, well, started, put a couple of wraps of the Teflon tape, PTFE tape, uh, on it, because you see there is a red sealant on there. That's just a factory sealant. Obviously, once you break this, um, it's not gonna be as good anymore, so we just wanna make sure that we're not gonna have any, any leakage. Now, when you go to put this in, you do not wanna over tighten this, okay? <laughs> Uh, you can you can damage it. You just want to go. You, know, you just gonna want to get it in there and uh, don't hulk on it. You know, like you you want to make sure it's snug like that. But uh, yeah, don't don't go full. You know what strength on it. All right, next up we're gonna go ahead and get rid of get this out of here. One handed bro. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Even the top one has some metal on it. Make sure you clean these out. But dude, this here, this is exactly why I wear these gloves. So this little pump is pretty sick. So it just threads straight on to like whatever bottles you have. Uh, it's got like two different, like there's a thread adapter on the inside and there's a bigger one on the outside. Just put this hose, oh God, oh God, oh God. But <laughs> I don't know. We're going to stick our hose up in the hole. We shall start pumping. Oh, shit. There we go. We're going to pump it. We're going to pump that fluid. Yeah, you fill her up. You dirty little car. I'll fill you up so good. Holy shit, this takes a lot of pumps. Oh my god, bro, hurry up. Oh, there we go. If you don't get that hose caught on the threads and peel some of it off, that would not be good. You don't want this stuff floating around. All right, so just for reference here, um, I have no idea how to know once I'm at like half a bottle. So yeah, once we've successfully cream pied our car, then uh, we're gonna be good. And it is exactly where it needs to be. So we're gonna call that good. All right, so I forgot about our friction modifier. So I'm gonna go ahead and jab that here, pump this in. Uh, you can't really have too much of this. So I'm just gonna put the whole thing in. All right, now we got our PTFE tape on here, we get it hand tight. By the way, that uh, friction modifier smells god awful. So uh, have fun with that. But guys, seriously, this is so easy. This is no harder than, and this is actually like easier. Actually easier in my opinion than just doing like an oil change. Like if you can do that, you can do this. Don't let fluid changes like stress you out or like intimidate you because most of the time, like this is this is literally what it is. For the average everyday guy, like y'all saw this, it's two plugs. It makes no sense not to do this. Uh, we're gonna give it one more little ugga. Okay, okay, two more. Okay, three more. Okay, all right, I feel good with that. All right, and we are done. The very last thing, we're just gonna clean up. I'm gonna use some brake cleaner, clean that out, seal it up, and. Last but not least, put your tools back where they go, you freaking Neanderthal. Don't be lazy. All right, so everything's good. Everything's good. There's no weird sounds. It's not whirring. It's not like doing that wow thing whenever you slow down. Um, yeah, we're... Yep, we're good. Yeah, if you guys do what I did, um, if you break anything, don't sue me. But I think, I think we're good. I think that's all you need to do. All right, guys.